Hey guys, I don't know how well you can see me today. Um, I've got a little update on you guys. A lot of people have been asking uh, how to make a homemade trailer for a lawnmower because they don't want to pay much. Now I blame them. If you got scrap steel laying around, any type of scrap steel can work. Uh, round, square, rectangle, angle iron, anything can work. All you need to do is basically do what I did. I'll show you guys here what I did. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up. But that is my trailer. It's 70 inches long by 4 feet long, wide. It has regular lawnmower wheels if you can't tell. Uh, there's a boat right there. That's a regular half inch boat. That's drilled into the back. I don't know how well you can see it. It's back here. You guys can't see it. Probably, can probably show you. If there is light here, it's right there. Uh, somewhat, you guys can see it. Now there's a bolt there. And there's a rod. All this rod here. I don't know. This rod. All that rod is just supports wheels from moving around all the time. There's going to be a floorboard on it. Uh, the tongue on this, you got to keep it. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. That's got to be 30 inches long. No shorter, no nothing. It has to stay like that. That tongue right there. It has to stay at 30 inches long. Any shorter, you will run in problems. Uh, you don't have to make it this wide. I did it because I got a two acres of yard and a lot of leaves to take care of. There will be sides on this, uh, probably three foot, three feet in there. All, all uh, floor. It's going to have a floor in it, uh, riffle floor in it. I haven't really decided how I'm going to do it yet. Um, yeah, you see as well. See that right there? That's because I did that. So the riffle, uh, your roofing uh, metal, it can sit right there, and then you would never know that. And then right here, I welded it, flushed. I am somewhat a welder, not that well, but I am. And that's basically how to make a trailer. I mean, all you need is a center support so the trailer don't bowl in. You need a axle. Well. You can use a live axle for a go-kart. Go you got to make sure it sets as high as your rider. Like that one right there. That's got 11 inch height. That's from, I don't know if you say, from here to here. And here to here is 11 inches high. And that's how I did mine. And basically you can use a live axle with go-kart wheels. You don't have to do that setup, you can just use go-kart wheels, do the same bloody thing. I'll uh, catch you guys later.